Brianna Wilkerson here, and if you are ready to stop the dieting roller coaster, this video is for you. I am a holistic health coach. I help Christian women ditch dieting, lose weight that lasts, and thrive in their life. And so earlier in uh, my group today, my Facebook group, that I um, did a post on what diets have you tried in the past, and which ones have you liked, and which ones have you not liked, and how have they worked for you. And I did that mainly to just say that, listen, the word diet is not bad. Like a diet is our normal way of eating that really ser couldn't serve our body, could not could be a part of your culture, all those sort of things. But how we typically see diets and have experienced them, we've experienced them to be something very restrictive, we've experienced them something to be very, um, where we approach them as a quick fix, as something that is just gonna fix uh, deeper root issues. So listen, I talk about the Whole30 all the time. So obviously I believe that some quote unquote diets for a season can work for you. But what I believe in more than anything is figuring out, trying some of these things to figure out what are some simple things that you can include in your life that can create a diet plan for you or a way of eating that works for you and your body. So if you're on live with me, if you're watching the replay, just let me know in the comments. I would love to see you here. I would love to interact with you throughout. I see there are a few of you on live. So welcome, welcome. So listen, like, you know, um, someone mentioned that they count calories um, and that actually works for them. Someone mentioned they've done the Whole30, they've done it with me. Um, and they, it was, even though it was restricted for a time, they learned a lot of great meals and from there have learned how to create a plan that works for them. Um, you know, some people have tried many different things, but I think the ultimate key again is whatever you do, what is gonna really help you figure out a way of eating that works for you? and a way of living and taking care of yourself. So, and I help my clients do that, and I wanna tell you at the very end an opportunity for me to serve you if that is something that you're interested in. But let me talk about three steps to the dieting roller coaster. When I'm talking about the dieting roller coaster, I am talking about the tendency to just jump on any new roller coaster, or any new diet, because you're looking for, hoping, wishing that one of them is gonna fix the deeper issue. A deeper issue could be you're just busy all the time so you have no time to take care of yourself or it feels that way. The deeper issue could be maybe you're stressed or uh, you're not eating or you're overeating. The deeper issue could be that there's a lot of personal things going on so you just don't have the brain with. It feels like to take care of yourself. There could be a lot of deeper issues. But many of us approach dieting and keep on going a bunch of different roller coasters because we're trying to search for a short term to solution to a longer term problem. And I think the first step in really stopping that, stopping just this constant, like just going on a new ride, new thing, is to like don't pay for that ride again. And what I mean is like, if you know that this particular diet or this particular thing does not feel good in your gut, does not feel like it's actually something that's going to serve you long-term, does not feel like it's gonna help you with sustainable patterns, sustainable uh, habits and the change of mindset, then you need to not do it. So don't pay for it. Don't pay for that ride. Don't pay for that. Don't jump on it. Don't go on that particular roller coaster. And um, this is the hard part because if you're like me, I think often during my struggle with it when it came to dieting is I was so tired of feeling like I lacked self-control. I was so tired of feeling that um, this situation was going to never change that I just went on every roller coaster and tried everything until I could try it no more, until it didn't work, until it just I got fed up with it. But when I really entered into a season of realize, seeing that the day that I really decided to quit dieting, I decided to make small changes at a time and try out different things. Try out the food merit, um, try out paleo a little bit, but approach that trying out from a place of, this isn't gonna solve the long-term thing, but I'm gonna just see what works. And it was from a place of love versus a place of shame or just trying to fix myself. So you need to really, step number one, stop going on that dieting roller coaster. Stop paying for that ride that you know that you're just paying for it to get a quick fix. So stop searching for those quick fixes. Two, you need to, it's, this is, comes around mindset. You need to believe that there is a better ride. And what I mean by that, you need to believe that there's a better way. That there is a way. You need to have hope again. And I understand I've struggled I struggled many years and feeling hopeless, feeling lost, feeling ashamed because I just couldn't feel like I could get a handle on my weight or my health or my eating or any of that. 
Um, but when I started to really see, for me, my faith was a huge part. And really started to read scripture and see that, you know, God is saying, stop traveling. In Deuteronomy, he talks about, stop traveling um, on this mountain. You've circled it long enough. Get up and turn right or something like that. Like, you, like the Israelites were just doing, like, going around in circles, basically. And he's like, it's time for you to move to the promised land. And I think that's what he was asking me. Like, it's time for you to move the right way. And I believe the promised land for us healthy people on, on a healthy weight loss, sustainable weight loss path or just health path is making small changes, lifestyle changes at a time. That we can use diets like the Whole30, use diets like Paleo, use diets like Food Parent, all these things, we can use them as tools, but we cannot see them as the solution, okay? So you need to learn, like get to a place where you believe that change is possible. And that might take you a while and maybe you need to work with someone, maybe you need to work with a coach on your mindset. Um, a lot of my clients have left our time together really recognizing that their mindset has changed. Because listen, how you, what you believe about something dictates how you act in your reality, in every part of your life, not just your health. And so many of us have just put on an unhealthy mindset when it comes to healthy living and eating and we need to redo it. So step one is like you need to stop going for the quick fix and solution and stop paying for that quick fix and that roller coaster ride. Um, step two is you need to believe that there is a better ride, believe that there's a better way. And step three is really go find that better way. Once you believe that there's a sustainable way to approach it, once you believe that there's a sustainable way to lose weight, get healthy, feel strong again, feel energetic again, sleep well, balance your hormones, all of those things. Let me tell you, there is this thing where you're like, when you visualize something, when you believe and you hope in something, when you have faith, you will m more likely than not find it. Come and path it because you, you can't just say like, oh, well, one day it will happen. Maybe not. It will never happen. I'll never find that ride. Let me tell you, your brain has already shut down the possibility, so it's not going to look for creative solutions. It's not going to be hopeful, and it's not going to look for um, anything that could possibly be that better ride for you. But a process happens in your brain actually when you believe and hope and visualize and have faith that new things can happen, that there is a new way of healthy eating, a new way of living, you will find it. And you might have to search for it, but you will find it, I promise you. And I actually wanna share with you what I believe that new way is, but let me recap the three steps first. So one, stop going for quick fixes or solutions, so stop riding those quick fix roller coaster rides to believe that there's a better ride, believe there's a better way, and three, um, go searching for it. And I think what I've, you know, I did a post last week about, you know, it's been six and a half years that I really maintained my weight loss until pregnancy. I realized that a lot of the tools that I've been teaching women have allowed me myself to sustain weight loss, me myself to continue to get healthier, me myself to have a healthy pregnancy, all these different things. And I really am in a stage of my life that before I hit maternity leave, I really want to support, I mean, I'll work after too, but I really want to support women for those three months, March, April, May, to really reach their weight loss goals, to really reach their health goals and sustain it by lifestyle changes. And so I would like to invite you to my three-month sustainable weight loss, a three-month coaching program. It's a one-on-one -on -one program where there'll be coaching sessions, there'll be um, emails, um, e-support, there'll be... Um, access to my programs and like even that hormones webinar and all of the webinars I've basically done and tons of resources at your tips but the biggest thing you're going to walk away with is the support one-on-one -on -one unique support a listening ear encouragement and accountability to really help you figure out that better ride for you that unique way of lifestyle habits and changes that can support you in your goals whatever it is and so if that is you, I really encourage you to book a clarity call with me. This is where we'll just see what are your goals, is this a great fit for you, and we'll talk about more about the program and what it would be like to get started. Um, so if you go to madewell345.com slash clarity, madewell345.com slash clarity, book a call. I think I have a couple spots this week, but I also have a couple spots next week. So book that call earlier, the better. I only have a, um, one more spot for the beginning of March, so let me know. I would love to support you. And there are some essential oil bonuses, too, for those who decide to sign up in um, this week in particular. Um, but I'll extend it a little bit to next week if that's the only time you can have a call. Okay, that's it. 
Um, let me know which of these steps really resonated with you. Let me know if anything in this video resonated with you, but book that call because I would love to really support you um, in figuring out what is your next step to ditching that dieting roller coaster, reaching weight loss that is sustainable, and enjoying your health and your life again. Okay? Very good for you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Oh, I'll do I'll talk to you guys about that later. Let me just not put everything on one video. Okay, bye.